and Terry Harper makes a quick return to the ring. That was after losing her world title back in December. She's had to move up a division and tonight she returns a lightweight against Argentinian champion Yamela Avila Nida. Ten rounds ahead of her then in her first contest officially at lightweight in her professional career for Terry Harper, former world champion at super featherweight. And she said at the last of the press conferences here in Nottingham this week that she had to consider whether she'd be visited by demons in the build-up and on fight night. As Abby Yaneda gets through with a right hand early in the contest, the first half a minute of the contest and success for the Argentine. Yeah, she's a good fighter, Abelaneda. She's busy, she's game. She likes to set a higher pace, so it's important for Terry Harper to get behind that jab, stop that rhythm from happening. Yeah, there may be demons. She'll be really eager to get this first round out of the way. It was a dramatic finish to the last contest, so she just got to get ahead on this fight. She's doing the right thing, she's working behind the jab. But I'll say it again, that Belenada, she's busy, she really is game and she likes to set that extremely high pace. See her on the front foot already. Good shot selection by Terry. Yeah, mixing up well, good variation, head and body. Confidence growing for Terry Harper as we edge towards the end of the second round, looking for that variation that Sky was talking about. Giving Abby and Ada plenty to think about on the way in as she mounts her attacks. And Terry Harper has experienced the psychological and the physical battles that fighters face at all levels of their careers sometimes. And there's the right hand, the right hand on which she's had surgery, which kept her out of the ring for a year, and now really beginning oh. to find the flavor with those shots. Terrific work, following up with that left hook twice in a row. Yeah, the left hook is a peach, she's caught another one, a bit later. This is spiteful stuff from Terry Harper. Really sitting down on the shots. She's Argentine having to show all of her durability here to withstand this. Yeah, she's extremely game, she's trying to fight back, but that right hand's low and the chin's high, and she's landed a couple of left hooks, Terry Harper. And Harper's got a cut on that left eye. Hard to see whether it came from a clash of heads or from a shot, but there is a cut and there's blood now on the left eye of Terry Harper at the halfway stage of the third round. That may spur Abelanade on. She started the, uh, the opening round really, really sharp, busy. But she just allowed Terry Harper to set the pace and the rhythm of this contest. A good right uppercut from Terry Harper, lovely Great shot. Great counters. Applause from Harper's corner as well, and that cut looks as though it might be by the side of the eye, close to the top of the nose, and potentially bleeding into the eye. Could be, could be a problem. Yeah, it's not a great position for a cut. Might, it does look right near the, the start of the eyebrow, and that will run into the eye. You can see it, but this is good work from she Terry really Harper. found a home with that left hook. Yeah, she has. Time and again in this round, that left hook has got through for Terry Harper. Key shot so far. She's got to keep that chin down. She's letting the shots go to Terry Harper. Just riding high a little, but boxing nicely, putting the shots together well. Oh. Lovely short left hook from Terry Harper as Abelanada come flying in, mounting her attack. Good overhand right. A bit more intense from Abelanada in this round. Trying to force Terry Harper back, we can see the size and the presence from Terry as she holds that centre ring. And picking up on what Sky was saying in the oh. previous round, there's just so much more class and so much more confidence in the work of Harper in the orthodox stance, no question about it. That left hook's there for her all night while she's in that orthodox stance. Yeah, she's carrying that right hand a little lower, Bellanada, so she is open to. The left hook when Terry Harper finishes a combination just missing with that left hook after a right, right uppercut that she just misses with. Yeah, the uppercut's a shot that's worked well tonight as well. 
so much variety in the work of Terry Harper. And this is developing into just the kind of workout that she would have wanted, coming back from such a savage knockout defeat only three and a half months or so ago. Bionada taking these shots and apparently untroubled but isn't managing to tee off on anything of her own that's of any real significance and hasn't really had much success at all in the second half of the fight. Blood's starting to flow a little bit from that left eye of Terry Harper again. Yeah, she's just not been allowed to work at Bellanada. She started the fight really, really well in that opening round. She was busy then. Terry Harper got to grips. She found the range with the jab and was busy. She's just not quick enough on her feet, Abelanada. Every time she gets within distance, Terry Harper moves the feet and she just can't get close enough to let her hands go. She's falling short with the shots. Looks like Terry's having a round off here, saving it for a big finish. We can see here, Terry Harper filling the pace slightly, and that would be down to the nervous energy coming into this contest after the defeat from Alicia Baumgartner. But still moving, still got spring in a step. Oh, good left hand there, good hooks. Took it well out there, Lanado, trying to let her hands go. into pot shot now, Terry Harper, the single shots from Orthodox and Southpaw. Not really putting them together now. Oh, good one too, lovely right hand straight down the guard of Abelineda. I think there was another crunch of the heads there as well as we head to the last 20 seconds of this move up to lightweight for Terry Harper with so much potentially exciting prospects to come in this division where Katie Taylor holds all four of the World Championship belts and coming up on Gazone at the end of April faces Amanda Serrano so Terry Harper will be wanting to move in line to be facing either of those at some stage after Ladies and gentlemen after 10 rounds here in Nottingham England we go to the judges score totals Michael Alexander, Leszek Jankowiak, and Guillermo Perez Pineda all scored this bout identically, 99 to 91 for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBA Intercontinental Lightweight Champion.